Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Amtrak Vacations webinar, Last Minute Rail Vacations Booking for 2022. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. And today we'll be talking about is some popular rail vacations that are booking right now that you may be interested in taking either for this year or possibly for next year, either be a popular getaway experience for you and the missus, or maybe it's a wonderful rail vacation trip for the whole family. Uh, but let's get started. So what we'll be covering in today's webinar is traveling across country by rail. Some of the most scenic ways to be able to see our beautiful country right here in the United States. Our, our experts are able to provide recommendations on the top railroads to maximize your sightseeing experience, not only on the train, but in the, the destination themselves. We'll talk about on com, uh, accommodations on board Amtrak. We'll even talk about how to customize your cross country journey to fit your travel style and our experts are here to help recommend destinations to visit while traveling across the United States. So folks, just to let you know, of course, if you ever want to sign up for our newsletter, just make sure that you scan this little icon right here and you can be able to download all of our newsletters, all of by our brochures and other uh, digital material. Of course, our two brands that we uh, we do feature here at Rail Bookers Group is Amtrak Vacations and Rail Bookers. Now, Amtrak Vacations is the uh, official tour operator uh, for Amtrak, where Amtrak moves over 3 million passengers on its rail system each and every year, uh, where we travel to not only great places such as Chicago, New Orleans, Washington, D.C., Seattle, Los Angeles, but we even go visit our amazing uh, national Park, such as Yellowstone, Glacier, Yosemite, and so much more. And then to our right is Railbookers. Now, Railbookers is our international brand where we travel to destinations such as Europe, Canada, Africa, and beyond. But you know, folks, we also visit to Alaska. Alaska by rail is very popular this year. Uh, so if you are interested in looking to find out more about our Railbookers product, make sure you give us a call. We'll be happy to help. And just as a reminder, folks, for both of our brands, all of our rail vacation book uh, vacation packages, sorry, uh, can be booked as early as this today and as far out as 2024. So again, if you already have your trips planned for this year, um, try help planning for next year. Or even if you're a person that likes to think way far in advance, like myself, start looking for 2024. But why do travelers love Amtrak vacations? Well, first of all, we are the rail experts. We know how to provide our rail expertise and knowledge to ensure you get the best routes the best times to ensure you get the best vacation possible. We can book any of our rail vacation packages, as I just mentioned, from as early as today and as far out as 2024. So again, if you're looking for that last minute trip, we're here to help you out. Not to worry, everyone else is on the same boat too. People are traveling once again. They want to be able to see the national parks. They want to be able to take those cross country trips or maybe those short getaways. Uh, but if you wanted to make, start maybe planning your bucket list trip, we got you covered. We also offer maximum flexibility. So any destination, any date for any length of time, simply put it, if the train goes there, so do we. And again, we have the largest rail vacation selection to choose from, from luxurious rail journeys to multi-country experiences to even extending your cruise. So again, we can customize any itinerary to fit your needs. And no rail trip is too complicated for us because where it's confusing for most, it's very simple for us because it goes back to that major point. We are the rail experts. Now, what options are available with Amtrak vacations? So people think, okay, well, you know, I definitely want to take a trip by train, but what does that look like? And, you know, what can I do? What what does Amtrak vacations offer? Well, again, we add on any destination to our packages. So let's say, for example, you're looking to visit the Grand Canyon this year with family. And you want to be able to add on, let's say, uh, you know, Los Angeles. You want to go see Hollywood. You just want to go maybe visit Universal Studios or see the beautiful beaches of Southern California. We can help out with that. We can add and on extra nights. So if you want to add extra nights into a city or a national park, we got you covered. We can make a round trip from your hometown. So believe it or not, folks, a lot of times we do see a lot of passengers not so interested in maybe flying to the destination to start their train trip. Sometimes we do get that request, but a lot of times too, people want to start from their hometown, basically doing the entire rail vacation round trip by rail. Uh, we can even upgrade your rail tickets from coach to business class on those shorter distance trains or from coach to those private sleeping accommodations on those longer distance trains. And we can add on additional sightseeing tours or upgrade 
those tours, the fully private tours. Can't tell you how much we're seeing more of those people booking more private tours than ever before. One of that more intimate experience with the guide and less people on the bus or with the tour group, of course. Now, what is, is it like for packing for the train? That's always been a question that I've always been asked, both from my own family and from other people. Uh, so first of all, Amtrak is very generous when it comes to its packing requirements. Each passenger is able to bring on two free carry-on bags per person, as well as two free check bags under 50 pounds per bag. What airline folks can offer that? Can't think of a few off the top of my hand. Not not to fit this finger, uh, but luggage can be also checked in 45 minutes prior to departure. Again, you don't. It's not like traveling on an airplane. If you go to the airport a couple hours in advance, you have to check in your luggage. You have to go through the security checks, all that extra stuff before you board your plane. Again, it's not like that. Traveling by train is a much more leisurely and easy way to travel. So where can you travel to by train? That's another great question we always get. So as, as I'm sure you may all know, uh, Amtrak it does go over to 500 plus destinations. And right now, of course, a lot of them are, are national parks. We're definitely seeing a lot of people wanting to travel and see, uh, go out west and see some of the beautiful iconic parks like Glacier, uh, you know, like Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, even Yosemite for name a few. But we're also seeing a lot of city getaways coming back. People wanting to go explore those major highlights such as Washington, D.C. New Orleans, uh, you know, Chicago, Los Angeles, Seattle, just to name a few. But again, uh, maybe if you're maybe so much the city or the or the uh, destination is uh, more of your, uh, you know, what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for more of the rail experience. We got you covered there too. So we do have a lot of, uh, of trips that just focus more primarily on the rail experience versus the destination. Now let's talk about some of the featured vacations that are being booked right now for this year. The first is going to be New Orleans. Our New Orleans Ultimate Getaway is a very uh, hot item right now, not just because of the spicy cu uh, cuisine, like the Cajun-style uh, uh, cuisine that's down there in New Orleans, but also, of course, the destination itself. Uh, very popular place for Mardi Gras, place to go visit the history and be able to explore the Old Town area, uh, maybe take a nice carriage ride in the evening, or maybe do a nice uh, you know, uh, tour uh, of, the, uh, of the city itself. Uh, we do have some great options for you, and our rail experts can help plan the ultimate experience uh, in New Orleans for you. By the way, folks, three major trains uh, with Amtrak do head into New Orleans. First is going to be the Sunset Limited followed by the city of New Orleans leaving from Chicago. And then of course we got the Crescent train leaving from either New York City, Philadelphia, or Washington DC, just to give you a few ideas. But again, these trains are uh, of course uh, being very popular and in demand visiting New Orleans. So if this is something you wanna do, this is definitely the time to book it. Uh, and while you're also in New Orleans, definitely gotta make sure you listen to some beautiful jazz music. Again, that's some of the best in the world can be found in this beautiful city of the Bayou. Uh, but also when you're in <laughs> New Orleans, you got to make sure you check out the Cajun cuisine, uh, very well known for in the bayou, from jambalaya uh, to their shrimp. I mean, and of course, uh, so many other great traditional dishes can be found there. So, folks, this is our New Orleans Ultimate Getaway. It is four days. Look at the price. You're starting at $459. Includes your three nights hotel accommodations in uh, in New Orleans. We got you, of course, a dinner experience. So again, sampling some of the fine bayou cuisine. We got New Orleans Pass that gets you into so many popular attractions, uh, including the uh, famous National World War II Museum down there. You get to take a uh, Creole cooking class. Uh, we also, of course, offer a choice of a swamp and bayou tour, a steam steamboat experience again definitely when you're down there you got to take a steamboat experience uh and then also uh, an opportunity to see a, a historic plantation all right folks moving right along here on our virtual train tour so this is our chicago ultimate getaway so again if you're looking for more of the architectural wonders of this great city chicago is the one for you uh chicago is our four-day stay experience four days three nights you get to be able to arrive in the heart of the city of chicago uh, by the way, folks, for those of you who may not know, Chicago is a major hub for Amtrak. Many great trains do travel in there from the Empire Builder, the California Zephyr, the, uh, you know, the, the, the 
the, uh, the Southwest Chief, any, of course, a lot of East Coast trains like the Capital Limited, the Cardinal, to name a few. Uh, but again, in Chicago, we, of course, have the opportunity to be able to explore Lake Michigan with the lake cruise. You can be able to also do a nice river cruise and explore the architectural wonders of Chicago. Check out uh, the Chicago Symphony. Maybe check out the Chicago Art Museum. So many great opportunities to explore this city. So again, this is our Chicago Ultimate Getaway, four days, starting at $519. Four days, three nights, includes hotel accommodations there, a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour so you can get to maximize your uh, opportunity to see the city. We also provide you that Chicago City Pass, which gets you into the Field Museum, the Sky Deck Chicago, the Museum of Science, and or, or of course, also the Alder Planetarium. And we also incorporate a, a dinner experience at a popular restaurant. So again, when you're traveling with us with Amtrak, we really want to – Sorry, Amtrak vacations. <laughs> we really want to give you the ultimate experience. All right, folks. Another one that's we're seeing very popular right now, being booked right now for this uh, uh, fall foliage season, is our New England fall foliage package. This trip does start in Boston, heading up to Portland, Oregon. I'm oh, sorry, Portland, Maine. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, folks. Portland, Maine. Uh, and uh, when you're in Boston, of course, you definitely got to check out uh, the historic area where you could be able to see uh, the Boston Tea ships that were uh, featured in the uh, Boston Tea Party back in the uh, mid 1700s. Hundreds. Uh, you also could be able to check out and sample some fine cuisine, uh, get some lobster, some clam chowder when you're there uh, in Boston. And then after your time to explore the city of Boston and even checking out the New England fall foliage area, seeing some of the old steeples, seeing the leaves change. Of course, a lot of the leaf peepers coming from all over the world want to be able to, to uh, sample this tour. Uh, but there were also uh, – have you take the Amtrak down Easter train heading up into the beautiful city of Portland, Maine, where you could check out the famous lighthouses, be able to uh, see some of the whaler artifacts. Uh, a lot of great history is found in Portland, Maine. Uh, but if you want to be able to extend your stay with us, which we highly recommend, we can also provide you with an opportunity to visit Acadia National Park, one of the most beautiful and pristine on the East Coast. So, folks, this is our New England Fall Foliage Package. It is six days, starting at $1,149. and includes hop-on, hop-off sightseeing experience in both Boston and also in Portland, Maine. Uh, you get to be able to do the New England Fall Foliage Tour from Boston and even also learn some of the history of uh, Cambridge, Lexington, and Concord. Uh, again, very famous spots for the Revolutionary War. And also, of course, your hotel stays and the uh, Down Easter train heading up to Portland, Maine. All right, folks, our last rail vacation experience for the, for the day, this is our Charleston and Savannah trip. Again, this is a great opportunity to see more of the southeast part of the East Coast and uh, really get to be able to sample that, you know, that uh, – that southern hospitality that many people look forward to visiting. So you get to start off in Charleston, South Carolina, uh, where you can be able to you know, go around the cobblestone streets, get to be able to learn about the history, see the beautiful, colorful buildings, and even checking out some of the uh, you know, local fine art and, uh, of course, cuisine when you're down there. Uh, and in, in Charleston, of course, there's a lot of great history. We do provide, of course, some great opportunities to do some sightseeing, take a look at some of the most popular plantations that are there uh, in Charleston. Charleston. And after your time exploring Charleston, uh, you'll then, of course, travel down on the Silver Star Service or the Palomito Service uh, that will take you down to Savannah, Georgia. And in Savannah, of course, again, a great opportunity to check out the cobblestone streets, uh, get to be able to get some of that southern charm, maybe take a steamboat cruise. Uh, again, also opportunity to explore this great city's history. Uh, and then in Savannah, of course, you've got to make sure you check out some of the fine cuisine that's also uh, down there. I have a couple friends that say it's some of the best in the world. And again, uh, when we're in Savannah, we do provide you, of course, a, a beautiful steamboat cruise experience, uh, and that gives you an opportunity to really get to see the city on the water. So, folks, this is our Charleston and Savannah getaway trip. It is six days, starting at $749. Again, a great value right now. This is a great opportunity to take advantage of not only uh, some great uh, offers right now for some of our most popular trips, but even a great experience by a rail. Uh, so, again, it includes three nights hotel stay in Charleston, two nights in Savannah, the city tour of Charleston, the sightseeing tour of the Magnolia Plantation, the most popular in the entire uh, southeast region. 
pop on up off sightseeing tour of Savannah, Georgia, with a nice sightseeing cruise on the water. So you'll be able to view the, the city. And again, that one-way Amtrak accommodation on the Silver, uh, Silver Service or the Palomino Service. All right, now, folks, I want to talk about what the onboard accommodations are like on board Amtrak. This is a very popular, uh, you know, request that we do get a lot from many people. They want to see what the in uh, in uh, the accommodations are like on board Amtrak, which we definitely, of course, understand. So, what is it like traveling on board an Amtrak train? Well, first of all, you know, traveling on board a train is completely different than traveling by bus or traveling by a plane, right? When traveling by bus or even by your own car, you know, you're not being able to enjoy the scenery outside, right? And you're with, of course, so many other people, uh, you know, in that bus, kind of in a confined space, which goes to the same fact with the plane, right? You're not really going to see the sights. You're just hovering over the air to arrive at your destination quickly. Uh, but when you're traveling by train, that's part of the vacation experience. Traveling by train, you get to be able to see the beautiful country right outside your window, check out the observation car and get to see those 360 degree views as the world passes by you it really is a great way for the family and for the loved ones to be able to enjoy and really feel how you know how patriotic we really are right to be able to have so much in this great country of ours but we also of course recommend when you do uh travel on board amtrak is to upgrade to those private seaplane accommodations which we'll talk about here in just a moment because you do get the priority bo on board access uh when you do uh you know, have uh, the private sleeping accommodations to get to board early versus, you know, the rest of the train accommodations. Uh, but for coach, I want to start with the coach accommodation. So coach class is the basic accommodation that's usually what's included in our packages. Uh, coach class is a great option for those who are traveling on shorter distances or maybe that are on a budget. Uh, great accommodations that do fold down to a 45 degree angle, nice foot rest, very comfortable and spacious. You also, of course, extra leg room down here, extra space for luggage so you could be able to you know, store your luggage up there. No longer do you have to feel like you have to cram your luggage in those main cabin compartments on an airplane. Uh, you also are seeing, of course, large picturesque windows, nothing like that little peephole on an airplane. Uh, you can be able to get also reading lights, air quality control, and also nice fold-out table there. So if you want to maybe watch a show on your iPad or be able to, of course, uh, enjoy a snack or beverage at your seat, you can certainly do so. But now I want to talk about more about the private sleep and accommodations. The private sleep and accommodations is definitely the best way to go, especially if you're traveling on the train either for one night or multiple nights uh, with Amtrak. So the first, of course, we we'll talk about is the dedicated car attendant. So on board the train, you do get a dedicated car attendant that's there to serve you throughout the journey. They're there to make sure that your time on board is uh, not only an enjoyable one, but also, of course, one that you will never forget. They take care of not only making sure that your room is kept tidy and clean and also take care of turn down service when you're ready to go to bed, but they also, of course, help take care of meal service. So if you wish to have your meals in uh, in the um, in your room, you could certainly, of course, ask that. It's like free butler service. You might take, take advantage of that. <laughs> but they also take care of toiletry service, additional pillows, bottled water, coffee service as well. One other great thing about the private sleeping accommodations is versus in coach is that you have your own private uh, privacy of your own door, right? So the door that locks from the inside so you can be able to block out the rest of the world and be able to, of course, uh, take advantage of those panoramic windows. Lastly, as I mentioned before, you can have the meals brought to your private sleeper or you can enjoy them in the beautiful dining car, uh, which has been forced uh, reopened as of last year. Now, on board the train, of course, there are several different accommodations on board Amtrak, but we're going to talk about the major few. Uh, the first is going to be the roomette. Now, the roomette is the most economical option on board Amtrak. It's two seats facing one another during the day, and it falls into a bunk bed style configuration for two at night. It does have a door that locks from the inside, and then the private restroom and shower facilities are right across the hall. Uh, and you'll also notice on board the tra uh, in board your uh, roomette is you have power outlets, reading lights, air quality control, and heating. You also, of course, have a fold-out tray table there. So if you want to play some, you know, uh, some maybe a board game or be able to watch a show on your iPad or do some work on your laptop or even just simply read a book, you can certainly do that. One of the great things that I like to do when I travel on Amtrak is actually uh, – a nice little uh, uh, you know, wine and cheese cutler board with me. Uh, my wife and I, when we travel on Amtrak, we usually bring on a couple bottles of wine, maybe some cheese, some deli meats, and some crackers, maybe some fruits and veggies. And we have like a nice little wine and cheese tasting in our room. It's actually the best way to enjoy some of those great views outside the window. 
And that night, as again, falls into that bunk bed style configuration for two at night. Or if this, if you're a solo passenger, you could just take the lower berth so you can get some great uh, views from your window there. So again, this is the roomette, folks. It is uh, does sleep up to two adults. However, this also is a great option for a solo passenger. It does uh, fit about one to two small suitcases in your room. However, there's also luggage space on the luggage racks right outside the, uh, your room. And then also you have private uh, a restroom access in your car as well as to the shower access. The room length dimensions are below. So again, it's six feet, six inches by six feet, eight inches, three feet, six inches in width. The next accommodation is going to be the bedroom. Now, the bedroom accommodation on board the train is about two times uh, larger in size than the roomette. It's a couchette during the day. Uh, and then, of course, a nice captain's chair with a large picturesque window. You also have, of course, uh, extra space for your carry-on luggage. And it folds into a bunk bed style configuration for two at night. You also, of course, have your own private ensuite with bathroom and shower included. Now, folks, we are definitely seeing a huge wave of demand for the bedroom accommodation, so they do sell it quite quickly. If this is something that you're looking for, definitely reach out to our Amtrak vacation staff. We'll be more than happy to help plan that for you. Again, this does sleep up to two adults. Also, this is also a great option for a solo passenger. Uh, it fits about one to two small suitcases in your room, and then you have your own private ensuite. The room length is seven feet one inches by seven feet six inches, and the room width is six feet six inches by six feet eight inches. So again, as you can definitely tell, double in size on the roomette. The last of the sleeping accommodations is the accessible bedroom. Again, very similar in style as the regular bedroom. However, it's on the lower level of the Superliner carriage, same level as the Viewliner carriage, because again, Viewliner is a single level versus the Superliner being a double decker. Uh, and with the accessible bedroom, of course, there's space for a uh, walker or a, uh, a wheelchair. You also, of course, have a dedicated car attendant button there, there to help them to serve you. Uh, and then also, of course, you have your own um, private en suite uh, that is, of course, ADA accessible. All right, folks. And then I would definitely want to talk about is the everyday eligible discount. So if you're uh, if yourself are eligible for the discount, children ages two to twelve traveling with a uh, tr you know a uh, uh, riding adult, uh, they receive fifty percent discount off the rail portion. Seniors traveling over the age of sixty-five will receive ten percent discount. Any active duty or retired military personnel and their dependents receive ten percent discount off the rail portion. All you gotta do is just ask our rail experts, and we'll be happy to take a look at those discounts for you. And as a reminder, folks, you can definitely check out our website at www.amtrackvacations.com or also, of course, at www.railbookers.com to find out some of our great digital brochures. We have everything from the beautiful national parks to rail experiences to, of course, famous routes, cross-country journeys, so many great brochures out there. But my last question for you all today is, if you don't mind, just – you know, think about this. What destinations are you considering for your next rail vacation? Which destinations have we maybe not featured that you'd like to find out more about? Uh, let, just, of course, give us a call. Reach out to our Amtrak vacation staff at 1-800-268-7252. We'll be happy to help plan your dream vacation by rail, either before this year, something last minute, or maybe start planning your bucket list trip for next year or 2024 goes. But if you have any questions, again, please feel free to give us a call. We are, uh, our office hours are Monday through Sunday, if Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Saturday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also contact your local travel advisor as well, and they'll be all happy to help take care of this planned rail vacation for you as well. But I just want to say thank you so much from all of us here at Amtrak Vacations and Rail Bookers. We hope you have a wonderful and train-tastic day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.